Karens are known for their public freakouts, and boy, do they deliver. They can be seen going off on anyone, from store clerks to restaurant staff, and even complete strangers. From screaming at the top of their lungs to pointing their fingers aggressively, these Karens know just how to make an entrance. So the next time you encounter a Karen in public, think twice before you startle her. She might just have something up her sleeve. On February 6th, 2023, in the sunny state of Florida, local deputies had quite an adventure when they were summoned to deal with a tipsy lady who was overstaying her welcome at a bar. The person on the line reported that this woman had taken to serenading the staff with her not so dulcet tones and had been firmly uninvited from continuing her performance on the premises. Upon their arrival, our heroes in uniform discovered our spirited songstress still holding court at the bar. Let's dive into what unfolded next. Jennifer, out in here and okay. trespasser. You gotta go. Okay. Okay, let's go. What I do? They, they don't want your business no more. Let's go. What I do? I don't know. They don't can want you. Can you tell me? I got to go ahead. Go. Sorry. Okay, but can you tell me? I, 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 will, I, I will gladly talk to you once you're off the property. Okay, my car is this way. Okay, well, you're not driving. Okay, I can walk then. Okay. I live two blocks from here. Okay. What I do? Let's go. I'll, I'll talk to I'm, you once we're off the... I'm already walking. I know. Wait, wait. So, wait, don't tell me that you'll tell me once I'm walking. I'm walking. Once so we're tell off, me now. Once we're off the property... No, no, I would, tell me now. Yes, we will. Tell me now. Ma'am, you're either going to leave the property. Okay, let's... Ma'am, okay. sir, arrest me. What did I okay, do? Let's go. Come on. What did I do? Have tell you, me. I'm asking you If you, you shut to up me. and let me talk, I would... Don't talk to me like that. Don't tell me to okay. shut up. I didn't even say that to my son. Okay. What the... Come on, let's go. Let's go. Don't grab me. Let's go. Don't grab me. Somebody film this. What the... Why are you Put your You're under arrest. For You're what? under arrest. For what? For what? Stop. What did I do? What? Please stop. Please stop. What did I do? Please stop. What did I do? Let's Tell go. me what I did. Please stop hurting me. I'm asking you what nope, I did. You're done. You can't arrest me. You're, you're too late now. You're already under arrest. Let's go. You cannot arrest me without telling me why. Why are you arresting me? Why are you arresting me? Stop it! This is unlawful! Stop it! Why am I in handcuffs? Why am I in handcuffs right now? Tell me! Stop it! Tell me why I'm arrested! Wait, you cannot do this! 129. Tell me why! Tell me why! What did I do? You cannot do this! You're hurting me. <laughs> you think I'm a broke bitch. You're dumb. What did I do? Okay, you got some ID on you, ma'am? Yep. All right, where's it at? In your purse? You can't touch my stuff. Do you have a search warrant to search my purse? You can't touch my You can't touch my You have to have a search warrant to search my purse. What are you doing? What are you doing? You haven't even told me why I'm arrested. I already did tell you. No, you didn't. No, Stop. you did not. Yeah, Wait, please film. He did not tell me why I'm arrested. He's illegally searching me. What the f*** are you doing? I'm a healthcare worker. Please, please film this. I promise you he did not tell me why I'm arrested. I promise you you're illegally searching my purse. Right. Which is my person. Would you have to have a warrant to search? What the f***? What are you doing? What are you doing? Sir, what are you doing? Do not put me in the back of this vehicle. What are you Get arresting me for? What are you arresting me for? Tell me, what are you arresting me for? What did I do? Why are you arresting me? Tell me, you can't be silent. Why are you arresting me? Why are you arresting me? Why are you? One, hang on. Shit. Got her? Yeah, she's inside. Range and clear traffic. <laughs> so. She cuffed? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh. <laughs> 
I gotta get his information real quick if you don't mind. No, you're good. So she had down so No, she wanted to fight and carry on, so she's acting stupid. What I do? What did he say I did? Because literally I'm uh, I'm under arrest and in handcuffs because I didn't shut my mouth. What the f is happening? Well, if you calm down. Okay. As soon as I find out, I'll let you know. He won't even tell me, but I'm in handcuffs? What is that? Were you not listening to him when he told you something? No, I listened to him. I asked him what was happening, and he put me under arrest, threw me over wooden guardrails, and put me under arrest. He would never tell me why. Okay. Ask him why. Did you, Ask him what did I you, did. Did you leave the property when the property owner told you to leave? No, or were I you yelling not. and screaming? I was not yelling and screaming. I asked why asking to play music was an arrestable offense. Okay, the restaurant people can't arrest you, but they can ask you to leave their property in the time you have to. And that's a arrestable offense? If I've paid a $300 bill plus a $100 tip to the bartender, it's an arrestable offense because I asked to play music? Your, your disorderly conduct. Is no, an arrestable offense. And the alcohol enough. that I'm smelling coming from your person in disorderly and intox. I'm walking and I live less than two blocks from Okay. There. So when the deputy told you, probably gave you orders to do something, did you comply? I asked him why. Did you comply with the deputy's orders? Wait, I asked I'm him asking why? you a question. No, I did not immediately comply. Okay, I and that's why, why you're in handcuffs right now. Wait, I asked him why that was happening and he threw me over wooden. Okay, listen to me. Yep. Did he tell you that you were under arrest? No, he did not. Or did he tell, tell you that he, you were being detained? He didn't tell me either. Okay. I kept asking him why. What was he doing? As of right what now, you're being, I'll tell you you're being detained. For what? What did I do? Really? Like, what did the f*** did I do? Okay. You want to give me your ID and stuff now? Okay. I want to ask you. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'll explain to you again. Okay? So, I asked you to leave, and you said no. I said, you want to talk? I said, we will talk to you once you're off the property. Management wanted you gone because you were interrupting business. And I asked you stop. to talk to me. You, you, stop. I'm talking. You listen. Oh, because what I have to I say talk. You matter. listen. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, I asked you to leave. You said, no, you weren't leaving. I'm going to explain to you right now. I explained to you again. I will talk to you off the property. Management wanted you gone. Look you refused to leave. Look at the marks on my legs. So, because I asked to talk to you. I told Look you. What did I tell you? So that's your conversation. I asked to talk to you. So okay. Well, I'm gonna get your. Don't touch right. my. Shit. I have a warrant. I don't have to. You have, have to have a warrant to search no. my purse. Yes, you do. You're under arrest, ma'am. I can search your purse because you're in, you're in my car. Me. Arrest for what? What did I do? Right now. Why am I under arrest? Tell me now. Trespass after warning. In you're hurting me. In disorderly and You're talks. hurting me. What hurting. are you doing? In disorderly and talks. I'm not intoxicated. I live. Hey, hey, this hurts me. Help me. Please, listen. this hurts me. I am not. Listen to me. Wait, listen to me. I am not listen a to troublemaker. Stop. I don't start sh I don't do people. Like, help me. This Stop. hurts me. Well, if you quit moving around and fighting, no, it's they're not, not meant to that. Be comfortable. Have you been handcuffed? Yes. And you know that it's not comfortable whether yes. you're moving around or not. It the has more, nothing to do with how you, I move. The more you move around. Oh, this is awful. I didn't even do anything. You did. You failed to leave the property after being told and warned. And then again, you failed to leave the property after death. Listen. Over $400 listen. at this property. What listen did I me. do? Listen to me. If you don't want to listen, I can't tell you. But you want to continue to yell and scream at me. Okay? I'm trying to explain to you. I got hair in my mouth. I got, my, I got bruises on my, on my wrist. Like, how much do you expect me to sit still and just be explained to? Well, like, if you want to know awful. what's going on, I'm trying to explain it to you. But you want to continue to yell at this me. This is awful. Okay? Did I put you in handcuffs? Am I the deputy? Why did that man put me in handcuffs? I've been trying to explain that to you, but all you want to do is yell at me. I've not raised my voice to you once. Can you not understand okay. why I'm upset? You can't, can't understand that? I can, but listen to me. You have to be an adult and calm down so I can explain to you, okay, what's going on. But look, if you, look, there's if you so wanna... many meth addicts and homeless and bull on this island. do you want to continue? you after me? Please, 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 please.
Yeah. Right. Now, do you want to stop and listen to me? If you want to stop and be calm, I will check your cuffs to make sure they're not too tight. I've explained to you. Help me, because this right one is really okay. tight. Listen to me. And I'll tell you why you're under arrest. Yeah. You're being arrested for trespass after warning. Because I property, have to lie. And I'm telling you, the property owner doesn't have to give you a reason to trespass you. Okay? If you're causing a disruption, they can ask you to leave the property. Can when I you tell you what when, happened? When you can refuse, you would, you like, would you like for me to explain it and, and tell you why you're under arrest? Because you, that's all you've been worried about. You don't care what, you, what happened. I will let you talk if you let me explain to you why you're under arrest. Okay? If that property owner wants to stand there and every third person walks past him, he wants to transfer him, pass from his property, he doesn't have to have any reason. He can try, that's, his, that's his right. I'm just saying, okay? I'm not a violent offender. I, I didn't, didn't say, threaten anybody. I'm did, not a did, drug user. Did, did I, I say? Do anything Did I say you were like, any of those? I don't understand that. Okay. So, right now, you're being arrested for trespass after warning. You're going to be going to jail for that. Okay. I have a son that I need to pick up from school. So, okay. what do I do? Do you have somebody we can contact that can nope. pick him up? Nope. I don't have family or nothing here. I okay. just moved here a little over two years ago. I don't okay. have you don't have family, friends, nobody that you trust. Okay, then we will call DCF. No, 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 Okay, no, 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 then DCF no, 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 can pick no, no, no. them up from school. No, 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 okay? no, 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 If you don't no, have anybody no, no, in the no. state or anybody here that can pick your son up no, from school, no, 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 no. then we can take You're care of that. taking custody of my son over nothing. I didn't say what I was did taking I custody. No, DCS is custody over my son. Okay, if you don't have any, nothing. you're going to jail. So if there, what? I told you, you're being arrested for trespass after warning. Failed to leave the property after being told several times. What did I? You did not comply. Wait, I was walking with him off okay. of the property. So Were we not on our way off of the property when I was asking. Would you, you like lie? to tell us? You're a liar. Would you like to tell us where your child's at and we, we can make sure he's picked up and no, safe? I would like to make a phone call so I can try to help that. Okay, we can dial the phone for you. Okay, you're not coming out of cuffs. Okay. Okay, so. I need my phone. Okay. That you confiscated for, from me without a warrant from my Ma purse. Ma'am, when you're under arrest, we don't need a warrant what to search What did your I property. do to be under arrest? I explain it to you. I'm not going to tell you again. This is the part the intoxication I'm is playing a part. Okay, blow I can me, smell. Blow me. I get that works. It is how it works. No, I do, me. I do not blow you. That's not how that because works. I took okay? a, because I took a drink, I'm drunk. I can smell the alcohol from here. Right. One drink would do that. I just took a drink. Okay. I have no one here. You don't understand. Okay. I can't let DCF stay with my kid. If you I don't have anybody to pick up your kid. We have. I to get do to... have somebody to pick okay. up my kid and, and just your... let them get my keys. It's... They're in my purse. There's two Listen BMW to me. keys right Listen there. To Listen to me. Do you want to try to make a phone call please. to somebody? Can, can she please get okay. my keys so she has a car? Like okay. I don't understand. Joanna, are these your keys that you yes. want to release to uh, yes. France, Francis? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to give these to her. Okay. She's not here yet. Okay. I'm going to give these to her and go over to your son's school. And how long am okay. I looking at being detained? Generally, <laughs> once you get down to the jail, it's uh, six to eight hours of processing time is generally what the jail takes. By the time you're able to get your bond and contact a bondsman and get out. And I've done that. Huh? I've done that. Done what? Created a criminal defense that's worthy of that. Yes, you were going to jail for trespass after warning and disorderly intox, like I explained to you. Wait, you okay. haven't even tested me. How do you know there's disorderly intoxication? Okay. Even obstruction. You don't even have to... You're, what you're, obstruction? You're, what did I I'm obstruct? not explaining to you again. Karen found herself slapped with a trio of mischiefs, including trespassing despite being told to take a hike, otherwise known as trespass after warning. Tipsy shenanigans that were anything but orderly, legally referred to as disorderly intoxication. And playing a game of stubborn mule with the authorities, all without throwing a punch, otherwise known as resisting arrest without violence. Do not resist. No. What the f are you doing to me? What is your first name? So. I, I, I picked her I, up. I, I, we put her against the I car. 
I try to be nice okay. and you want to take well, advantage I, of I'm it. I'm not trying to so be fuck you. Yeah, and, uh, you can't. You're uh, fucking late for it. You're gonna get oh, on the whimsical day of February 19, 2024, the brave knights of the Key West Police Department embarked on a valiant quest. Their mission? To address a peculiar disturbance caused by none other than an absurd, 29-year-old Karen. A noble Starbucks squire had sent out the distress signal, reporting that this Karen was engaging in the audacious act of commandeering beverages from unsuspecting patrons, without offering any gold coins in return for her own potion. What followed was a laughable series of events as our heroes in blue faced off with the notorious Karen. Come here. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. Come here. Can I use the vessel? No, come here for a minute. Okay. Because okay. you've been trespassed from this property, so I need uh, you to come here. I have a heart. Are you stay? Are, are you, you the one they just called on? Why? Drinking other people's coffees and stuff? I didn't drink anybody else's coffee. I have a lot of money. Okay, let me, let me find it. Go yeah, ahead and yeah, use yeah, the bathroom. Yeah, let, let me, I, I, you may I, not be the person. Let me go I find it. Uh, room uh, 318 is my number. My last name is Church. Okay. Church, church. Can you just walk to the window so I can make sure it's not you? So yeah, I can point him out? And, uh, wash. Cool. No, come here real quick. Like, uh, wash. Uh, just come here real quick so I can check to make I'm sure it's you. About to piss my pants on okay, go pee. Go pee. What does she look like? Dreads, black beanie cap. Okay. And what was she doing? She was, she was what? She's drunk. But what was she? What is she doing? You want her? Okay. Did she steal anything? Did she pay? Did she pay for what? Did she take it? What did she take? Did she leave yet? Or is she still in the bathroom? Thank you. Did she uh, leave though? Right, right mm -hmm. Did she walk out of the bathroom? Oh, no. The person I was talking to. No, if you come, I don't see him. Okay. So she's still in the bathroom? Mm -hmm. Or he's in the bathroom? Or? Oh, Let's walk over here real quick. No, no, no. We're gonna walk no, over to Starbucks. Hold on. I don't have to put you in handcuffs. For what? Just me. For what? Walk over to Starbucks real quick. I'm telling you, my ID is right I there. I understand that, but they're claiming you stole something, and I want to make sure you didn't. I have. I'm telling you. Do not resist. Dude, what the f are you doing to me? Hands behind your back. I didn't do anything. Thirty-four cent backup to resistance. Put your hands behind your back. What did I do? You're being detained. Put your hands behind your back. What did I do? They're accusing you of stealing. I just said I was about to just drop all my stuff out. They just said you were stealing. Oh, I don't need to steal anything. I have money. Ask. We're in 24 I stay North. here. Haven't I been staying here? 318? Aaliyah okay, Church Okay, I want to make sure you're not stealing. I don't have to steal for what? If you're not stealing, you're going to be released. But I don't you need have to put to your steal. hands behind I'm your back. I can show you my room. That's fine. Lady at the front desk, put please help me. Put your hands behind your back. Please help me. Like, what did I do? Ma'am, you're, you're under trying. arrest right I'm now. I'm not under arrest. I didn't do anything. Now you're resisting. No, you're fucking like, a, why are you fighting me right you're now? You're going to get tased if you don't put your hands behind you're your back. You're fighting me for what? What did I do? You're, you're being accused of theft. Hey, I didn't steal anything. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Hands behind you're your back. back. Put your hands behind your back. <laughs> I don't care. Let go of it. It's mine. I didn't steal that. Just let go. Let I go of it. I didn't steal anything. That's my phone right Go ahead and stand up. Did I steal anything? You're going to find that out. So that's not my phone right there? Stand up. Stand up. Come on. Look at my phone. Stand up. All right, you gonna help me? 
Yes. Yeah. All right, these we're are holding tight. you right they're now. They're real tight, so I'm going to They're really loose. Like I'm praying. No, the right one. Oh, there it is. It's really It's loose. my watch. Damn. Let's go ahead and stand up. Get two of my fingers through there. All right, yeah. come on, let's go. There we go. Where's my watch? Just that one. I wasn't even finished. I had to use the bathroom. I'm here all the time. You didn't pay for your drink. Dude, I just used the bathroom. You just watched me. I was coming right back, and the ATM was right there. You didn't just pull all these cards out you of my hand? You have to pay before you leave the restaurant. I left it there. I said I'm coming right back. I just told them I'm coming right back. Right here. Uh, I'm sorry. Stop the trunk. Line. You all set? Yep, yep, yep. All right, have a seat. Oh, the foot there. Oh, the seat. Yeah, yeah, I started selling them. All right, foot in. Oh, the foot in. We have a couple more going to check. Three, four, there's one across here. Huh. I can't breathe. Hey, I can't breathe. Can you let the window down? For real. And my handcuff is so fucking tight. It's cut. I'm bleeding. The window. Uh uh. Stay. Are you gonna give us some uh, identification? Yeah. yeah get, can I get back in? Hey. The, uh, get back in. I'm just breathing. Get I'm not, back in. Hey, I'm not doing anything. Put your feet back in. Can you in. help me out? Put your feet back in. Can you help me? Put your feet back in. Okay, no problem. You don't need that. That's what I'm saying. Put your feet back in. Okay, so, um... What is your first name? So, hey, hey. Get up. Get up. Hey, man. Get up. I didn't steal anything. There's my identification right there. Get up. I just gave you my name. I can give you my phone card. I didn't steal anything. There's my identification and stuff right there. What did I do wrong? There's my money. There's all my stuff. Okay, it's cutting me though. I keep on trying to tell y'all that and I told you I needed to breathe. And you're not helping me. It's cutting me. Really? Yeah, on my right hand. I try to be nice Okay. you want to take well, advantage I'm of it. I'm not trying to be so now, now you just made my tooth. Tell my me lip what is, your name is. Aaliyah Church Green. Aaliyah Antoinette Church Green. My identification's right there. I'm staying in room 318. I've been here paying $800 a fucking night. What hotel are you staying at? 24 North. I just told you go to the front desk. I was trying. To, you. I was following you, and you just told me. It's right in my pocket. Just yeah. go to the front desk, give them my name, give them my number. This is a different hotel. No, honey. I have I have a white get in. There's a white car. Get in. There's a fucking white car. Get in. Dude. Come on. I'm not trespassing. Get off of me. Get in. Fix my fucking handcuff thing. Get in. My Every right one. Get in. I don't give a fuck. Get in. Loosen it up. I said loosen it. And get well, in. if you get in the car. Just look. Just loosen it. The right one. God damn it. Get in. You have to loosen the right one. Get in. I'm not going anywhere. I just told you. I, you, you, you won't even let me. You won't let me show you my identification. Get in. All right. I'm literally trying to show you. Stand up and sit down in the car. I'm literally. It's right there. All right. I am going to drive. I have my you. my identification's right there. Get in. My identification is right Get in. In the hey, bag. Get, Get in. in. I can't. Get in. Yeah, you yeah, can't. Your fucking legs work. You're gonna get okay, 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 okay. Get in. Okay, stand up. My right, my right one though. Get in. Oh 
my look the white key you can go in my room right now 318 move your foot three one eight is my room number three one eight just told you all of this shit. do you want my fucking social security okay. Okay. number as well six nine i get it you're angry I'm not angry. I'm trying to tell you something. All I had to do was use the f***ing bathroom and I was going no, to set my stuff down. I'm trying to set my stuff down and sh he's like, well, show me some identification. I'm trying to go for the identification and he's f***ing wrestling me right now because I didn't do anything. Write away. it down. You pulled away. I, you, so, I was trying to listen. show you I was at the Stop. front desk. All Stop. you had to do was go to the f***ing front desk. That's all you had to do. Are you done? No, because you're all not right. listening. Let me know when you're done. Go. Because I'm talking here. I'm running the show, not you. So okay. let me know when you're done so I can explain this to you. Okay, go ahead. Okay, you're being charged with disorderly conduct in a licensed establishment. You're being charged with theft. You're being charged with resisting an officer. Those are your charges right now, okay? She was a 318. She was? Yeah. When did she check out? I did it. I'm still, I'm still here. Let me turn your camera off. The, um, checkout time isn't until 11, but I just, I checked in at, I checked in at 3 p.m. First name. A L L. A L L. Didn't you just tell him my name at the front desk? I haven't talked to you yet. He just said I'm in 318. I need this for the paperwork. What's your name? Can I write it down for you? No, you're in handcuffs right now. Well, I don't know what, what for. What's your first name? Spell it for me, please. Because I'm trying to explain something to you and you just f***ing cracked my tooth? Look, my Spell tooth it. is chipped because you f***ed my f***ing okay. face against the damn window. That wasn't me. Can I it's, have your name? Your it's first bleeding name. now. What's your first name? Why am I being charged? I already explained that to you. Disorderly conduct in a licensed establishment. Disorderly conduct? I had a protein shake because I just worked out. You didn't pay for it? And second... I didn't even finish my day. They, they, I got a... They were vaping I, in their store, which is also disorderly. I didn't know that was illegal. They never said that was illegal. It's Actually, I just bought it. Disorderly conduct is what it is. I just bought it, so... If you don't follow their rules and their place, and you're... You're disturbing other people, including the employees. I was singing. That is disorderly conduct. I was singing. Can I sing to you? I, I didn't yeah, want to no, run. No. I was trying to sit down because I just told okay. you to breathe. I was telling you to let the window down. You let the window down, and I'm thankful for that. What's Thank your you. birthday? Thank you for that. What's your birthday? It's right there on my ID. Uh, you don't have an ID. Yes, I do. I, I, it wasn't in your stuff. Did you go to 318? We're not going to 318. Oh, I don't know. All right, then you have another charge. Refusing to identify. So from the beginning, she what happened? She came here and she started talking so loud. And then she came and asked me for stuff because she doesn't have money. I'm like, okay. And then she started to come from here and touch stuff. And then she got me the she started to touch what? The stuff and the So she started the touching the food? Yeah, and then she got one of the potato shakers in Did she open it and start drinking it? I don't know. She just let it. I don't know if she opened it. Yeah, it's been open. And then, uh, so, uh, so she grabbed the protein shake, and then what happened? And she started talking so loud. Very loud? Yeah. Was she disturbing the guests? I mean, I don't know if they were disturbing, but she was very disturbing. Was she disturbing you guys? Yes. Okay. And then what happened? And then she was going to the bathroom, coming back. She didn't do nothing to us, but she was very rude, and then and then, so she went to the bathroom, and then, then she came back. back. And she talked over there. She started talking again, going back and forth. And then, and then, oh, Did you ever tell her to leave? I didn't, like, because she doesn't, like, even if you told her, she's not going to understand. Okay. Yeah. Did anyone tell her to leave? She, like, who talked to her, but she doesn't, like, she doesn't get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But... Did you set, did you ask her to leave? Did anyone say, hey, you need to leave or anything? She's been here since this morning, so. Okay. All right. And she saw her in a different way where she was grabbing other people's drinks. She wasn't also Did anyone tell her to stop? No. Oh. So we have a mobile pickup order. So like that was why they called me. She was taking people's drinks down there. She was touching them, and then they kept taking them off the counter, so she wouldn't grab them. So, so was she touching them and drinking them? No, she was trying to, and they were taking them back. To her. So she, so she grabbed a drink, and she tried to drink it, and you took it away from her before she did. Okay. Um, uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and rest.
Well, because she's been resisting and stuff, yeah. we've got to take her in. But um, we're going to charge her with disorderly conduct and establishment and um, theft. Because one, she didn't pay for her drink there. And two, she was trying to take other people's drinks, correct? All right. So all I need from you is your ID, just so I can document that you were the person who witnessed it. Upon reaching the jail, Karen sought a supervisor to express her uneasiness with how things had transpired outside of Starbucks. Uh, I, I, I wasn't trying to be rude and turn my back to you. I just need to say something to know real quick. Hey, no uh, problem. Uh, were you there when this happened? Yeah. Uh, were you we were all, all there. I, yeah. okay. I was on the other side of the car when she was drive stunned. Okay. But I uh, get to the scene. They give me a description of the person. I walk out to talk to her. She tries to walk away from me. I say, you're not, you can't go. She, okay. I grab her. She continues to pull away. I take her down to the ground. Handcuff her. Take her to the police car. Because he put, because he thought I was trying to run away and I was just trying to sit down is on the curb. That, 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 that happened in the takedown? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me just a second. And broke my tooth and my lips f***ing bleeding. So no, no, that was... And then he tased me. You're talking about I tried to run away. I said, the tasing I and on. her tooth. I allowed her tased me. Yeah. And in so the takedown, I, I just... I put her down on the ground, but it wasn't... She wasn't slammed or anything. No. <laughs> put her into the police car, and then Howell and um, Roman. Roman took her out of the police car to try to find her ID, and that's when she was resisting again. Actually, I just opened the door, yeah. and she put her feet out, I told her to get back in, she shoved past me, tried to run, I tripped her, and she fell into the bushes. I just pushed her off, I'm not trying to, I don't have to, I picked her up, we put her against the car, and then, um, she was put all of her weight sat down, and went Mm -hmm. picked up. We picked her up, tried to put her in the seat. She sat down again. She kept pinning her legs under the car. Uh, we told her several times to get up. She refused. I said, get up. I'm going to drop stun you. She refused. I pulled it out. I did, did the spark. I said, I'm going to drop stun you. Get up. And she, she refused to get up. And, so and this I, is when you called it out on the radio? Yeah, correct. Okay. And then uh, so I, I drop stunned her in the left shoulder. Try and get a picture of that. I'm not going to do it now. Yeah. Try and get a picture of her whatever face. I, we didn't, I have shoved her back against the blue line. I didn't put her head against her. I, I had her around here. I was trying to show you that I have the ID and my car. Just take pictures of her face and try and get one of them. Yeah. And, and, and just as a reminder, special for you, any use of force, response or resistance, as soon as you're able to when it's safe, Notify your supervisor and stand by until we get there. And unless, like, they're out of control, then I'll tell you, hey, go straight to the jail. Other than that, wait till I get to the scene. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We need to take a picture of your tooth if you're claiming it's broken. I'll talk to my lawyer. Okay. So you don't want to give a picture of your tooth? Like I said, I'll talk to my lawyer. All right. I don't need to prove that you just chipped my tooth. It's chipped. Anybody? Do you mind us if you want to go in? The police department. Police department, anybody in here? Uh. Does she get ID'd? Not fully. I just. 
So the last time I had an interaction with this guest on this drawer, uh, she take her ID. There's some bags inside that drawer. Yeah, before the, uh, we go like rummaging. Yeah, digging. Stuff. Just happened to she left her ID at, uh, in the room, so we needed to see. So she just like take it out. Is there? And you can see there's cards in there. That should be one of those uh, bags. Yeah, she had a crown bag on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because we, I mean, there's, you know, certain, we, we can't go through all of her stuff. All right, I got her. It's been cut three or four times, so. Four or six. I'll be going to two for a uh, deal. She seemed like Thank you. Yeah. Karen faced accusations of minor theft, causing a disturbance at a business location, and was cited for three instances of nonviolent resistance and obstruction towards law enforcement. The police report detailed that the initial charge of resisting and obstructing stemmed from her first interaction with the police, followed by a second charge for trying to escape when secured in the rear of a police vehicle, and a third for not disclosing her complete identity. You're not free to go. You're not free to touch me. Don't spit on him. Stop. On the not so fortunate day of December 13th, 2021, officers got buzzed about a repeat offender trying to sneak her way into places she wasn't supposed to be. Cue their arrival, and there's our suspect, probably thinking she's in a hide and seek championship. The officers, ever so politely, engage in a bit of chit chat, eventually popping the million dollar question. What's your name? Our mystery lady clams up faster than a shy oyster at high tide. Spoiler alert, it's Karen. But oh boy, did things take a turn from there. What started as a calm evening quickly spiraled into an episode worthy of a reality TV show chaos special. Here's how things played out. And in six or two, a special will be ten twelve. Hello. Dallas, yeah, the police department. That's good. Hey, you got your ID on you? What? Is it in that purse by chance? It's not. It is not? No, it is not. What's your, uh, what's your first name? I'm also here to give out any identities. What's your first name? I'm not here to give out any identities, sir. Okay, you were talking just fine. Let's talk normal. What's your first name? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm no, you're gonna yeah, tell you're us your right first name. I'm not so sorry. We can do this easy way, hard way. It's up to you. That's what I said. We're trying to find a What is your first name, my lady? We're trying to make sure you're safe and find out who you are real quick, okay? If you don't have any warrants or anything like that, then we're good. But I need to get your first name and all that information, okay? I'm, I'm just, I just woke up and I have deep sleep. I got so interested. I'm not interested in doing that. Understandable, but this ain't a bedroom. Oh, okay, I'm going to walk to my bedroom. Where's your bedroom? I'm not, I'm not interested in telling anybody right now. I just woke up from sleep. Uh huh. What's your first name? I'm not moving out anyways. What's that? I'm not moving out anyways, so I'm so sorry. Well, you're not free to leave right now. Okay, I can. So, I let's begin with your first name because if. So, have you, are you familiar with what resisting is? If you don't give me your information, that is what we call resisting. Yes, sir. So, what is your first name, young lady? Um, I don't know. Open up your purse and give me your ID. I don't have one. Hmm? I don't have one, sir. You don't have one? No, I actually have to get my ID back today. From where? My girlfriend's house. I'll just live. Okay, then give my officer your first name. No, thank you. Huh? No, no. no give him it now. Or we're going to go in cuffs and we're going to walk downstairs and I'll find out who you are later. 
You said she's been trespassed before by officers or anything? Uh, you got the case coming. number? Yes, sir. I was just contacting my supervisor, and it looks like her, too. Mm hmm Okay. 602 dispatch. Okay, no thank you, sir. Say what? Is it okay, no thank you, sir. I had the skateboarding on, and I fell asleep. I apologize. Okay. Now they're watching racing. We're just trying to help you make sure you're okay. Can you please move on? Huh? Can you please not stand over me like that? I'm not, I'm not trying to intimidate you or anything, but... You, if you live here, why are you sleeping up here on the couch? I said I was watching skateboarding and... Oh, you're watching, watching you were watching something? Oh, okay. Oh, that's, that's not fair. I got his last show. Not yet. I really don't choose. I know, no, no. Okay, well, I'm telling you. No, okay. no, 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 stop. Please don't touch me. Go, go sit back over there. Please go, don't go touch me. Go sit back over there. Please don't touch me. Go sit back over there. Please don't touch me. Not, you're not free to go. Stop. Please don't touch me. Go sit back over there. Please don't touch me. Go sit back over there. Stop. You're not free to go. You're not free to touch me. Yes, I am. Am I being go, detained? Yes, you are detained. You are detained. For what? For an investigation. Go sit down. What type of investigation? I'm not going to think again. Sit down. Let go of me. Sit down. Let go of me. Sit down. Seriously, let go of me. Sit down. Seriously? If you don't sit down, we'll put you in cuffs. Yeah. Seriously? Let okay. go of me. Turn around. Turn around. Stop. 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 Yeah. Stop resisting. Stop. Seriously? Let go of me. No. I got you. Okay. Why? Well, what did they do? We'll do. Just right. ask you to rush them? I have to put a restraining order on you. There you go. Sorry. Just get Yeah. Yep. Would you stop? Seriously? Can I just You just kick me? Oh, what are you doing? I'm scared of making this direction. Sir, will you walk me the rest of You're under arrest. That's definitely not happening. So she doesn't try to slip on me. Now you're going me. to jail for freaking Stop battery on Elio. Stop kicking and stop squirming. I do want to use the restroom. <laughs> Seven five five dispatch. We got one ten fifteen. Stop kicking. So use the restroom. You will when you get to go to jail. Please stop. Please get your hands off my ass. Please get your hands off of my ass. Sorry, yes. um, you if you got a hobble, or if somebody else wants to come here with a hobble, she's like kicking us and everything too. Please get your hands off of my ass. Please. Please. Stop. Please just let me use the restroom. It's all I ask. Holy oh, sh**. Stop kicking, okay? Well, you're under arrest for trespassing. You're under arrest for battery on LEO now. We're going to um, just have you write a statement, too, about the previous incident, and then... What's that? I'm going to use the restroom. Yeah, I I'm going to use the restroom. Ah. Seriously. Yes, sir. No worries. <laughs> Can you get off of me? No. Why? Because you're kicking us. And because you're on me. Because you're resisting us. No, I'm asking if I can do something. Will you walk me? No. I'm not resisting. I'm you are resisting. What? Why am I going to trust you now when you didn't do what we asked the first time? What did you ask? To stop you kicking us, down? Sam. What did you do? Keep kicking us. You're pathetic. I asked you okay. to sit down. You wouldn't get sit down. Get off of me.
Get off of me! Get off of me! Stop! Stop! Get off of me! Stop hitting your head! Stop hitting your head into things! Get off of me! You're hurting me so badly! Get off of me! Please get off of me! shoulders and everything. Yeah. You're not biting. You're not trying to bite him. This? No, you're under arrest. This? For what? Like, for what? Like go underneath her. Yeah, what am I under arrest for is what I'm asking. For what? For what? Like, like this, okay. What am I trying to say? Underneath here. Okay. Okay. He's going to get in the legs. Yeah. You get that son? Yeah. Um, <laughs> why are you doing this? Because you can't behave right oh, Down. There you go. Oh, so bad. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Here, shut just a little bit. 
As you just saw, Karen decided to go on a little adventure and ended up playing an uninvited guest in a building that wasn't exactly throwing a welcome party for her. Then, she thought it'd be a hoot to test the reflexes of our boys in blue with a bit of an impromptu wrestling match. And just for kicks, she threw in some resistance moves as if she was auditioning for an action movie role but with real cops. Unfortunately, this resulted in Karen being charged with trespassing, battery on a police officer, and resisting arrest with violence. Does that make Karen a triple threat? Nope, just another dumb Karen being carried out while wearing a hobble. Back on July 10, 2023, the Brave Knights of Toledo, Ohio's police force galloped to the scene of a vehicular mishap. According to the tales told by the aggrieved party and eyewitnesses, a duo of Karens, one behind the wheel and her sidekick in shotgun, decided to make like Cinderella at midnight and hoof it from their not-so-charming Mercedes pumpkin. But fear not. Reinforcements swiftly swooped in to corral our runaway damsels. Once caught, these two embarked on a fantastical journey of fibs and fabrications that would have made Pinocchio's nose sprout into a full-fledged oak. Here's the skinny on their not-so-merry adventure. Do you see what they look like? Other Samaritan reporting the red vehicle was trying to leave the scene. Is anyone in here hurt? So who is all in this car? Just the, just you? This truck. Yes, okay, this do, you, is my truck. do you need I medical? I don't know. You I might be able to. I hit her hard. She put, I had the yellow light like this, okay. and she pulled out on me on the last second, dude. Okay. Yeah. Last second, I couldn't react to it or nothing. Couldn't hit the brakes okay. or nothing. Okay, this the light right here. I mean, I all got right. my license. I own this truck. I don't have Okay, you know. why, don't, why don't you just have a seat okay. so medical can come check you out? So who, who saw it happen? This way. Turn, yep. Coming this way. And he was going this way. Yep. He was, they turned going like 40. Yes, they were turning really fast. They weren't even in the right lane. All right. Hello. 956, we're going to stop two. It's here in the row. You guys uh, see an accident up there? No, I'm just with my cousin walking downtown. Okay. What Where happened here? We huh? just left the club. Old okay. Dirty Bird. Dirty Bird? Okay, why are you guys all out of breath? You guys are walking. We see the car accident over there and we started running because we were scared. Okay. They was yelling running. about a bunch of stuff. Okay. Are you guys Nine, on five, six, I can't copy. Huh? Holy sh**. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, okay. Were you guys in a vehicle at all? No. We were walking. Okay. We were supposed to have a ride, but they didn't ever come pick us up. Okay. How old are you guys? I'm about to be I'm 20. About to be 20 okay. You guys are adults. Okay. All right. Do you guys have IDs on you? No, I don't. I think okay. I don't. Do you have a flashlight by any chance? Yeah, I do. I just can't. 956, it was two females. I don't have that, but I have my. You're so scared, I'll take that. Yeah. Oh, you'll get it back. I don't got any. I'm sorry. Okay. 956, Somebody dropped us off when we were drinking and they wouldn't come pick us back up. What's your date of birth? Uh, 1204-2003. What's your social? I don't know it, sir. I'm sorry. You're 20? Right? Yeah. You gotta know no, your I'm social. not 20. I'm sorry. How old are you? I'm about to be 19. About to be 19? Okay. Yeah. You're There's a lot of You need to know your social. Yeah. Okay. I don't know my social. My mom right. won't tell it to me because of scams and well, stuff. You need to know it. I'm sorry. I'm going right. to learn it. I promise. Okay. All right. You guys ever been arrested? No. Please don't. Huh? You got, you're 19, you're 18. Well, you guys realize that it's illegal to consume alcohol? Yeah, I'm sorry. I know it's wrong. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm Casey, it's Casey. just everybody does it right. We're trying to get home right now. Casey, like, where do you say it? Uh, by Oakdale School. You skip. So you guys weren't in one of those vehicles that got an accident up there? No. Huh? You guys weren't in one of those vehicles no, that got an accident? No, we were just drinking, there. trying to get home. Right there that you guys were running away from? Yeah, we yeah. passed it. She, bitch, she's running. 
but we passed it, and she started running, so I started following her, but we weren't in it. She just didn't want everybody to see us drunk because, like you said, we're underage. We shouldn't be drinking, so she didn't want the cops to see us drunk head? underage. Huh? What happened to your head? I was in an accident like a month ago. Steven Johnson. He's in jail for it now. He hurt her. So who's going to come get you? Huh? Who's going to come we get you? We lived down the street. We were just going to walk. So, honest to God, you guys weren't driving? Anything? We've been walking. Our car Where'd you guys come from? What kind of car is it? It's a red Mercedes. There's a red Mercedes in that accident. No, that's not ours. I promise we've seen it. But ours is still a dirty bird. I was just going to see that. <laughs> Who's the car, whose car is it? It's not mine. It's my friend's. He let me borrow it. What's, mine got wrecked. What's your friend's name? Um, Munir. Munir? Yeah. What's his first name? Oh, near. I think that's I work, I work in a club. I'm in here. Yeah, it goes back to a near LA. Is that who it comes back to? Yeah, those female ladies. She's saying her friend let her drive that car. And she gave that name. So she's saying she's driving? No. Did she say she was driving? She said she was earlier tonight, and they left the vehicle at the dirty bird. Ask him for the plate. Yeah, okay. Uh, why don't you just uh, bring her down here for me, please? Do you want both or just uh, the one? If they're both voluntarily willing to come down here, it'd be appreciative because I'd like to speak to both of them. Copy that. One second. Okay. okay. All right. You guys know right now you're not free to go, right? Huh? You, right now you guys are not free to go, anything. okay? All right. Just... Who'd you say the car comes back to? Huh? Who'd you say the car comes back to? Munir. Yeah, who is that to you? Um, I'm not gonna lie. I work in a strip club, and that's where I met him. Okay. Why is your nose all bloody? Um, I got into a fight with my boyfriend earlier. Yeah. Like literally 20 minutes ago. That's why I came downtown was to drink because I was really irritated at him. Okay. I know right. I'm not supposed to like drink and drive. That's why I had somebody drive me here with my car and drop me off. All right. Who drove your car here? My friend Anastasia. Anastasia what? Vibera. What, what was she wearing tonight? I don't remember, honestly. It was a purple shirt. I don't remember. What, what Where is she at? I don't know. We parked over at over there. I'm, oh, because you, you just told me your car no, was we the dirty were parked bird. The no, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm a little bit drunk and I'm underage, but I yeah, don't. Yeah, we know. We know. But you have to realize one thing right now. Yeah. Is the car that was in that accident comes back to a new Be parked over there, though. You said over there. You said over there. Stop lying. I'm not. I promise okay. you. I'm just. All right. Well, so here's what's gonna happen. Okay. You guys are. Gonna, we're gonna put you guys in our car. Okay. Not under arrest yet. Okay. We're gonna take you back to the scene because the officer who's investigating the accident wants to speak to you too. Okay. Yeah. All right. Put your purses on the hood of my car. All right. We transport people, like I said, you're not under arrest. You're not under arrest, but you're going yeah, handcuffs. We hand transport, hand so put your hands behind your back. Your back. On your phone, too. Oh, well. Hello. Hey, Casey, why don't you hop out and talk to me? We're going to go to the back of the car here. Just lean up against the back of the car. So whose car is that? Whose car is that? Whose car? The red car. The one you were driving? Okay. So the one you were driving was your friend's car. Where are you coming from? Where? Where on the east side? Um, 
Well, yeah, that would be the east side. But where, where about on the east side? Where are you coming from? What's on? My grandma's house. Were you drinking there? Well, no, I wasn't. Who was drinking? Just my cousin. In the car? No, we were out on the porch. Eddie. Why is there alcohol bottles in your car? That wasn't from today. I swear, I promise you. So you're drinking before? No, you can breathalyze me anything. I was not drinking today. Okay. I'm a pretty lenient, lenient guy here, okay? Yeah. And I'm a pretty fair officer, I would say. I've never been in trouble. So, li li listen, but... hold on. Before you continue to lie to me, it's not going to get you anywhere, but you're going to dig yourself a bigger hole. So, where were you really coming from today? My grandma's house. Okay, I want you to think about your answers, because I'm... it's going to dictate where we go from here. No, I promise you, I'm being honest. I came from my grandma's house on Woodville Road. Okay. I was just so, coming to ride scooters. Where, where were you driving? To here, to ride scooters. Which way were you going? Left. We was in a park and my ride scooters around the downtown. Do you have a fake ID? No. Okay. And you have had nothing to drink? No, my, my ID's in my purse in there. Your purse is still in the car? Yeah. How old are you? What, what, what was the bag that you gave us then? Huh? What was the bag you gave us then? Was oh. it a black purse? Yeah, gave us a bag. Oh. There it is. Yeah, it is. So we can see the scar on her stitches on her forehead. So why were you telling us that you were at the Dirty Bird? We was at the Dirty Bird. We was drinking. But you just said you were coming from your grandma's house on Woodville. You see, all right, stop. So listen to me. Listen to me. You want to continue to lie to me? It's just gonna make me upset. So I gave you a chance. I I told you I was fair. I really don't want to get in trouble. Then be honest about it. I'm trying. I'm just scared. So what happened? Okay, well, what happened with the accident? I honestly don't you were, remember. You were driving in which way? Straight. And you didn't see the flashing red light? Okay. All right, let's have a seat back in the car. How fast do you think you were going? If you had to guess. Who's, who's primary in all this? Me. She wants to come downtown and play, play big girl. She can get big girl consequences. Casey, do you want to do some uh, field sobriety tests for me? Let's go over on the sidewalk over here. Are you pretty familiar with uh, your SFSTs, or think you could help me out with that? First one. Well, I know the nystagmus one. I just. One if you could yeah, help me run through this so I can get this moving, I would appreciate it. I got a sheet if you want to see it. Well, I'm not versed on it, is what I'm saying. So I'm not comfortable doing it. Phillips, are you are you well versed in your, well versed in your SFSTs? Yeah. You mind doing them for me? Alright, you ready? Put your hands by your side for me. You're gonna keep them there. Keep, put your legs together. Alright, so this is the SFST test, okay? You wanna do it? Okay. Well, not really. Well. I've never done it before. Alright, so I'm gonna give you directions and I'm gonna demonstrate, okay? Right. The first part of this test, I'm just checking your eyes. Do you have any medical conditions? Covert off. I was at a party and this guy was drunk and he, like, beat me up. I can't see out of my right eye anymore. Like, it's. Okay. I don't know how to Did you go to a doctor for it? Uh, yeah, I don't know if you Is heard it of it. Documented? Steven Jackson? Yeah. It's documented that yeah. you can't see out of your right eye. Yeah. Well, Alright. Are you willing to take this test still? Alright. Lenny, she's willing to take the. Uh, if you're still willing to do it, that's fine. Okay. Right. So just follow the tip of my. the silver part of my pen only with your eyes and your eyes only. Don't move okay. your head. Okay. Keep following it just with your eyes, alright? Mm -hmm. so just your eyes, not your head. Alright. 
know what it says? It's going to be the uh, walk and turn. Okay, you see this line? Put your feet on the line. I right, put your right leg over your uh, left. Completely. Heel to toe. Heel to toe on the line. Okay. You can do better than that. Like this. Just, I was talking to you about that just happened. Like, I was at a party and this guy was drunk and he literally almost beat me to death. Like, I almost died. Is My hips are f***ed up and everything. Okay. All right, so is that if that's the best heel to toe you can do, just stay I, in that no, position. I'm just saying you can look it up. It's under Steven Johnson. Okay, heel to toe. Put your hands by your side. All right, this test it consists of nine steps walking forward, nine steps walking backwards, or walking this way. So when you take the test, when I tell you to begin, you're gonna keep your arms by your side. You're gonna look down at your feet, and you're gonna count out loud. Do you understand? All right, I'm gonna give you a demonstration. So if this is my line, I'm right like you, and I, when I say begin, I'm gonna go one two, three, as if this is my ninth step, I'm going to leave that lead foot planted, I'm going to turn around and go one, two, three, back to nine. You understand? You, you get my demonstration? So it's nine? Yeah, you're going to count out loud, you're going to go nine steps walking forward, and when you get your ninth step, you're just going to rotate, and you're going to stay on the line, and go back planted. Do you understand? When I tell you to begin, you got to keep going until you get to your ninth step and back, okay? You're going to count out loud, hands by your side, looking down at your feet. You understand? Let me begin. Okay, let's try that one more time. Heel to toe this time. Heel to toe. Heel to toe. Alright, not you did it. Go again. Alright, one more test. Stand Stand on right there. All right, this is called the one leg stand test. All right, when I tell you to begin, you're gonna lift one leg six inches off the ground. You're gonna keep your foot parallel. How my foot is straight. My bottom of my foot is matching the ground, just like that. All right. Six inches off the ground. You're gonna look down at your foot, either foot of your choice. Okay. Okay, but I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what six inches. You got an excuse is. for every test. Do you no, realize that? No, I'm. I'm so. I'm like so serious. If you look up my GPA. It's estimated. What do you think? Yeah. Six I'm not gonna get a ruler out for you. I'm just not trying okay, to Okay, so six I was, inches. Okay. I was in IEP class, okay. Like. Okay, six inches off the ground. The best that you think is six inches. You're gonna keep it parallel. You're gonna count. Look down at your foot, and you're gonna count out loud. Do you understand? To what? Until I tell you to stop. Okay. Once you start counting out loud while looking at your foot, you do not stop until I tell you when. You understand? Either foot. Let me begin. Keep going. 14, 15. I really can't. Can you hold that for a second? Alright, go ahead and put your hands behind your back for me, okay? Right now you're going to be under us for OBI. I'm going to take you down to the safety building, and then I'll give you the option to take a breathalyzer so I can get a sample of your breath or not. But i got a paper I'll read you here in a second, okay? In a little bit. Oh. Can you get in with this? <laughs> All right. All right, just give me a minute, okay? Look at that. There's nobody here. We can go straight into this room over here. I'm going to read you the form. You good? Here. Casey, come in here. I'll get you some, I'll get you some tissues. Oh, smell of Starbucks. You don't have any gum or anything in your mouth, do you? All right, All right Casey. I'm going to read you this form, okay? You are now under arrest for operating a vehicle under the influence of alcohol, a drug, or a combination of them. 
If you refuse to take any chemical tests required by law, your Ohio driving privileges will be suspended immediately, and you will have to pay a fee to have the privileges reinstated. If you take a chemical test, you may have an independent chemical, independent chemical test taken at your own expense. Do you have any questions about that? No. Can I go pee? Uh, give me a second. Are you gonna Are you gonna provide a breath sample or no? It's up yeah, to you. I just pee okay. Have you ever done one of these before? No. Have you ever done, um, like a spirometry at your doctor's office? Do you have asthma? No. Okay, then never mind. <laughs> Get in charge with an OVI. What like, would it affect my license at all? Would that make Um. Yes and no. You'll you'll go to court. And then is this if it's your first one? The judge. You you'll have to go to court over it. See what the judge can do for you. If it's your first one. I thought I was lying. <laughs> the reason why they keep putting you with me is 
I'll call Sandy now. Yeah. 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 The other two were completely As a result of her illegal activity, this quasi-Karen was charged with operating a vehicle while impaired, which is OVI for short. She was also charged with driving under the influence while underage, and driving without a license, which explains why she couldn't produce a license and handed over her social security card instead. The woman was also charged with failure to stop after an accident and failure to obey a traffic control device because she blew through a traffic light and smoked a guy's truck. Nevertheless, she pleaded guilty to driving under the influence while underage on November 23, 2023, and the remaining charges were dismissed. However, on January 3, 2024, she received a fine of $250 plus court costs and was ordered to attend a three-day driver's intervention program. Furthermore, she was placed on two years of probation and ordered to pay $4,000 of restitution to the guy whose truck she smoked. Do you want know I pulled you over tonight? Yes. Why is that? Well, because I turned it on the wrong intersection. You were driving the wrong way on a four-lane road. How much have you had to drink tonight, Brooke? Nothing at all. Nothing? Like, um, yes. Why is there alcohol in your car? No. Okay. I screwed up. Yep. You know what? And that was my own fault. While meandering about on his routine patrol, an officer's eyes nearly popped out of his head when he spotted a spectacle. A car was throwing caution to the wind and cruising merrily in the wrong direction. Seizing the moment, the officer decided it was showtime and pulled over this adventurous driver. And thus, our tale of topsy-turvy travels takes off. Please, do you want I pulled you over tonight? Yes. Why is that? Well, because I turned it on the wrong intersection. You were driving the wrong way on a four-lane road. The wrong way? Yeah, so when you turned off on you went into the northbound lanes of traffic. Okay. And not into the southbound lanes of traffic. Okay. Okay? okay. Do you have your driver's license and insurance? Yeah, we Where are you coming from? I'm coming from. I am. Well, I'm 18. Okay. I'm really sorry. Like I. Well, the whole this is like, all. Yeah, this is like yeah. So this do you know is where like you're coming like, from exactly? Yes, I know. Exactly Where's that? Where I'm coming from. Like I am coming to my friend's house from right now. Right now, and I know I am so sorry. No, nope, like, that's good. I feel where are you like, heading right now? I am going to her house right now. I'm from like um, what you call it. I can't remember her street name right now. I feel so bad. Okay. Like, you, I am, like, what? Where do you live at? I live in the Okay. Like, my dad's, like, a really big part of the community and everything. Okay. Like, I'm... Okay. 
What were you doing at your friend's house? I was just going over to her house. Like, she okay. and her boyfriend are, had just broken up, and she was calling me. Gotcha. So Where are like, you coming that, from right this second? Where did you just leave from? Target. Target? Mm hmm Okay. So, like, and Target closes at 9. I was grabbing, um, whatchamacallit, just a bunch of, like, snacks and everything. Okay. I was about to head over to her house. So... What'd you do to your arm? My arm? Yeah, your elbow. Which one? That one. On your elbow. You're bleeding. Oh, I shaved my arms so that I make sure that they're all smooth okay. and everything, so it was a shaver. Gotcha. Give me a second. I'm trying to grab it right now. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you turn off my front facing lights? Like the front lights on the. There's a vodka bottle on the other side. You want me to turn off the, front the front ones, yeah. On yours, too. What? I was talking to the other officer. Oh, okay. I'm really sorry. I nope. really can't so find it. So, do you have any idea? you have any idea where you're going right now? Yes. What is the address that you're going to? I'm really to? trying to go home. Okay. Like, I, I really don't want my dad to find out because if my dad finds out, it's like, it's just a really big thing. And I am so sorry. I will come to whatever you guys need me to. What, uh, do you have your driver's license with you? Yes, I do. Okay. And I'm trying to find it right now, and I really don't want this to be, to become a big thing. And I'm trying to find it. Right, that's fine. I'll just take your name. And I just, I what's really... your, what's your last name? What are you worried about your dad finding out right now? Nothing. Just like, my dad's just a really big part of the community, and I'm really just like, and I've never been pulled over before, okay. and I'm just like, I really don't want him freaking out about any of this, so that I should say, I will give you guys, yes, I will give you guys anything and anything you guys ask. How much have you had a drink tonight, Brooke? Nothing at all. Nothing? Like, um, yes. Why is there alcohol in your car? No. Okay. I have a friend, she's 21, that's it. Okay. I, do, I here's, really, here's... like, I, I really, like, okay. please, like, I, I am, I'm begging you. I just, so, I want to go home, please. Here's, just, I'm, I'm, I don't want to get arrested. Hold on, what I'm looking for right now, okay, is some honesty from you, okay? So, my concern is that you're not safe to drive, because you're driving the wrong way on it. And I it, am not driving, like, hold on, you were driving south in northbound lanes, Okay. That's very dangerous, and I'm concerned, okay? So, how much have you had to drink tonight? I Even if it's just a little bit, it's we'll work through it, okay? But I just, I need you to be honest with me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, because you have an open container, and there's a case of alcohol behind you. I will get my car right now, oh, please. No. Just... Well, how, much, how much have you had to drink tonight? I'm not... I just want to go Are you being home, honest please. with me? Yes, I am. Okay. I just, so I here's really, what we're going to do, just, okay? Like, honest to God, like, I really want to go home. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have I'm you, begging you. Just relax. I'm going to have you step out of the car and we're going to run through some tests, okay? But I know, like, how the thing works where, like, you get out of the car, you do this yep, sobriety so, test yep. and everything. I just, and I really need to go home. And if you and, haven't had anything to drink tonight, like you're telling me, then no, we'll get and, you out of here, okay? No, and I totally understand. But the thing is, is that, like, with my dad, there's just a lot that goes on with my family and I don't want to sound like anything but i just i really want to go home okay well let's do what's one step at a time okay so why don't you step out of the car for me okay well one thing at a time okay can you step out for me <clears throat> But I 
I know how it works, like with like the which we call the sobriety we're test yep, and everything. We're gonna step back that way. Okay. All right, right there is good. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna have you. You can face me this way, okay? Do you have any eye problems? I have a stigmatism in my right eye. In your right eye. So that I. I'm not able to read with my left eye. Okay. So it just right. becomes a stigmatism and then I cannot read the right way. Okay. Does it prevent you from focusing on something? Okay. Can you see my finger right here? Yes, I can. Okay. All right. Have you been hit in the head today at all? Mm. No? Okay. No. What I want you to do is I want you to stand with your feet together, feet together, and your arms down at your sides, okay? All right? Stand there and don't move until I tell you to move, okay? Do you understand? Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to keep your head still and you're going to follow the movement of my finger with your eyes only. Keep following my my stimulus, which is my finger, with your eyes only until I tell you to stop. Do you understand these instructions? Okay. All right. Can you see my finger here? Yes. Can you see it? All right. Can you look at my finger? All right. What I want you to, nope, look at the finger, not the flashlight. Okay. What I want you to do is I just want you to follow it with your eyes only, okay? So keep finger. Your, yep, keep your head still the whole time, okay? Nope, head still. Look, can you see my finger? Okay. Keep your keep focusing on my finger, okay? Nope, keep focusing on the finger. Hold on. You keep moving off my finger, okay? I'm so I'm sorry, I'm nope, being... that's okay. You see my finger? Hold on, look at my finger. Can you see it? Keep you gotta keep looking at it, okay? So when I go to the side, just look at my finger, okay? You're not following my finger here, okay? I'm sorry. Alright, so can you follow my finger for me with your eyes? Keep looking at it. Keep looking at it. Follow my finger. Can you see my finger? Brooke, I need you to focus, okay? This is important. I'm right? sorry. This I'm is really, really important. All right? No, so, I, I get that right. and I totally I, understand. So this is very important, so I need you to follow my finger, okay? Can you see it? Look at my yes, finger. Yes, right I, I okay. see your finger. Now follow it with your eyes, okay? Here. Yep, there you go. Follow it with your eyes. One more. Alright. Alright, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna you can put your back to the car here. Okay. Can, can you stand right there for me? Okay. Alright. Do you have any problems walking? No. No? Okay. Um any physical disabilities or anything I need to know about? No, just, okay. I right. just have a stigmatism in okay. both eyes. Right. And I have a stigmatism in my right eye. Okay. All right, Brooke, so here's what I'm gonna have you do, okay? So I want you to pretend like there's an imaginary line here, okay, yes. on the ground, all right? What I want you to do is take your left foot, put, a, put it out in front, all right? So go ahead and do that. Left foot, that's your right. Left foot out in front, all right? And now, <clears throat> place your right foot right, directly in front. Yep, touch heel to toe. Yes. All right, and then hands down at your sides. And I want you to stand just like that until I tell you, tell you to stop, okay? Yep, I'm gonna put them on your car. All right, so stand just like that with your hands down at your sides until I tell you to move, okay? All right, do you have any questions so far? No. Nope. Go ahead and stand back in that position. All right, hands down at your sides. All right. What I want you to do is I want you to maintain that position until I've completed the instructions, all right? So don't start to walk until I tell you to, all right? No, I totally understand all right. that. When I, I totally say begin, that. All right. When I say begin, you're going to take nine heel-to-toe steps on the line, turn around, take nine <laughs> heel-to-toe steps back on the line, 
You're going to make your turn by keeping your front foot on the line and turn by taking a series of small steps with your other foot, all right? So I'm going to show you how it's going to look, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so it's going to look like this, right? One, two, three. Take a series of small steps like this as you turn, and then you're going to walk back. One, two, two three. three, all right? I did three steps. You're going to do nine. Yes. Okay? You're going to keep your arms at your sides at all times, watch your feet at all times, and count your steps out loud. Once you start walking, don't stop until you've completed the test. Do you understand the instructions? Yes. All right, go ahead and begin. Test for you, okay? Are you good? Yes. I right. can do everything. All right. I'm sorry. Like nope, I you're fine. am socks. You're fine. Would you do you want to try it again with your with your sandals off and do it on your socks? <laughs> yes, I will. Alright, go ahead and you can kick your sandals off and try it again if you'd like. Okay. Alright. It's it's completely up to you. I just I know how to walk. Okay. Alright, so start with your um, right foot in front of your left foot, touching heel to toe. Yes. Alright, so go ahead and get, hold on, go ahead and get in that position. So put your right foot in front of your left foot. Switch your feet. There you go. Touch heel to toe. Mm -hmm. And now walk heel to toe nine steps. Alright, go ahead. All right, I'm gonna have you do a one leg stand test, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to stand like you did for the eye test with your feet together, arms down at your sides, okay? So just stand just like that until I'm done with the instructions, all right? Don't start the test until I tell you to. When I tell you to, raise either foot approximately six inches off the ground, keeping your raised foot parallel to the ground. You must keep both legs straight, arms at your sides. You're gonna hold that position while you count out loud in the following manner, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop, okay? So what it's gonna look like is it's gonna look like this, all right? You're gonna look down at your foot, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, and you're gonna keep going until I tell you to stop, okay? You're gonna keep your arms at your sides at all times. Watch your raised foot, all right? So you're gonna look at your foot the whole time. Do you understand these instructions? Officer person, is it okay if I put my hands like this? That's fine. Okay. All right, so give me one second, I'll tell you to start, okay? All right, go ahead and begin. Look down at your foot and count out loud. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011, 1,012, 1,013, 1,014, 1,015, 1,016. Keep going. 1,017, 1,018, 1,000. 19,020. Okay. I will stop. say one thing. What's that? I have been a competitive swimmer since okay. I have been seven. Okay. I'm really good at keeping my balance. Uh -huh. The thing is, is that whenever I keep my balance, when it comes to like seconds or anything, I get very nervous and I get very unbalanced. Okay. That has not been like an unusual thing. Okay. Right. I really like, I, I'm really... Right. So the last thing I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you blow into this, okay? So can you, what you're going to do is you're going to wrap your lips around it. You're just going to blow. My dad always told me never blow. to do this. Well, it's up to you. You don't have to. All right. But you're telling me you haven't had anything to drink tonight. And I 100% believe you have had something to drink tonight. Okay. So this is going to 100% tell me whether you're lying or not. All right. Does that make sense? So, have you had anything to drink tonight or no? You have had something to drink tonight? <laughs> I understand that. Okay. I'm really, uh, I'm 18. I'm, okay. like, I haven't started anything yet. Okay. And I'm, so, have you, how much have you had to drink tonight, I want to go home to my dad. Brooke, how much have you had to drink tonight? I really haven't had that much anything. Okay, what's not that much? Like, I really haven't had that much anything at all. And I just, I really want to go home to my dad. Okay. And I just, I, I really, like, 
gonna are you gonna do this test for me? What? Are you gonna do this test for me? No. I've been told that I've always been okay. on. That's fine. No, because right. there's like four officers right. right now. Go ahead. I'm gonna have you turn around no. and put your hands behind your no, back. No, no, no. Because You're not gonna want to do this. I'm, eight, I'm 18. I'm please. Okay. I have been. Please, I'm begging you, please. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Okay? No, and I always will. Okay. You're under arrest for DUI right now. You want to put your shoes back on? Yeah. Oh my god. Do you need help? No, I know how to put my shoes well, back I'm on. Just asking. No, I know, and I appreciate that. Oh my god, I'm gonna get rest. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're a breath hopper. <laughs> first car here, okay? Yes, I know right. how this works. Okay. Oh. Oh my Can you please take the dog? We will once we get to the No, I will okay. like no please you such like, Once you get to the place. No, it's, it's not even up, like okay? a no, it's not even like a which one what like I'm just saying like I there is nothing I in know, my I have to, I have to check no, before I put you in my car, okay? You don't understand. Like my parents won't get me out of bail. Like I am, I'm done. Like I am. <laughs> oh my God! I Step this way. No, this I way. I know how this works. Okay, go ahead and have a seat there for me. Take your hair clip out. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I am asking for is please don't tell my dad. I'm not going to tell anybody. No, like, it's just not even like a. I can tell you 100% I'm not going to call your dad. But it's just like. You're, you're 18. I, I, I'm the last oh, thing to go for me right on. now. You're. Okay. Brooke, you're 18, you're an adult, so I'm not going to call anybody, it's up to you, whoever you want to call, okay? Alright, you can just leave it for right now, okay? If you want us to just face the counter right, right here, I gotta search you one more time because you're in here. No, that's fine. Um, like, don't even worry your, about that. I don't have counter. anything on me. Put both hands on the counter for me. Oh my god, Rob. Oh my god, I'm Rob. Step back right here. I gotta wand you with this thing. Yep, right there's good. All right, bro. If you wanna do me a favor, there's a bench right there. If you could have a seat on that bench. All right. This officer Jacqueline over here's got to read you something. Okay. Okay. 
No, I don't know. I know. It's not even being an exporting or anything. I get how this all this works. It's been my Uncle Rob's life <laughs> since he was just been at my, my age. Please, like, I'm not even like, I'm not like this. I have a lot going for me right now. I've been taking care of my cousin since she's been sick. So, please, so, hold like, on. I Let just, I something. need to make sure that she's okay. okay. And I'm like, and I, I'm not like, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to do any of this. I don't want to go home, please. Okay. Hold on. So we have a process to go through. We're going to go through that process, and then I'm going to get you home, okay? But first, I need you to have a seat on that bench, okay? No, I will get on that bench. No problem. I don't want to get... I just... I'm not like this. I'm not... I'm, okay. I'm really good. I make sure I get first. I do everything that I possibly need to do. I've been in private school since I've been seven. This isn't... This isn't me. I... on that okay but first we got to go through this process all right once we get through the process then we'll work on getting you home okay so if you can have a seat on that bench right there thank you yep where did you start driving from Not sure? No. I don't remember, but just give me a second. Okay. I don't remember 100% uh, 100% of the street because honestly, I'm going to know 100% of the street anyways. Right. I was driving towards and I was going home because I knew how to get home. Okay. And then I was driving past. I knew if I turned west, I'd be going on the way to go home. And I just, I'm going to get home. Okay. And I'm going to see you know, dad. And I just, like, it was going west. And then you know, I was going north because my little sister, she was at Gigi's birthday party because I dropped her off there. Abby was at Gigi's birthday party with Kate and Lainey. And then I, she, and then I dropped her off there. And then I was just going to make it a sorry because a sorry need to run right back over there. And a sorry when I hang out. So then I took a sorry home that way. And then I was hey, I'm sorry. And then after I was sorry, got comfortable enough, I took the sorry off at home. And I was going to go home to my house in my bedroom with my clothes. And I was going to call my dad. So then my dad would know where I was. And then my dad didn't pick up that I was going to call my Uncle Eddie. And then my Uncle Eddie didn't pick up that I was going to call my Uncle Sam. And then my Uncle Sam didn't pick up that I was going to leave it there. And I didn't make sure that I was home. And then if it, I didn't make it home, then I would call Jamie. And if Jamie didn't feel then I would have called John. And I would have made sure that I was fine. Because I would never have called my grandma or my grandpa. All right, hey, Brooke, do you know what time you started driving at? Probably around 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock? Mm-hmm. P.M.? Mm-hmm. Okay, do you know what time it is right now? I have no idea because I do not have my watch on okay. because I gave it to you. Nope, that's fine. Have you been drinking tonight? Yeah? What have you been drinking tonight? Um, Pink Whitney. Pink Whitney? By me answering this honestly without you guys having um Right me. Is this giving me pointers or not? Is it giving you what? Pointers or not? Pointers? All, all, what it's going to show is it's going to show the judge that you're being honest, you're truthful, and that you know you made a mistake tonight, okay? And, uh, so, I, I am so sorry. Like I said, I have this whole list of stuff that I have to go through. No, okay? and I, so, I totally get it. I work with nope, kids. Do you, know how, do you know how much you had to drink tonight? Not that much. Not I that do much. know that, honestly, okay. because... I have had, which I'll call it, alcohol and substance in the past. Okay. 
I have not drank that much tonight. Okay. Like That's I am like, able to. Um, do you, you know? Do you know where you were drinking at? I was drinking at one of my friends' house. Do you um do you want to call somebody? You need a hundred dollars to get out. Do you pay a hundred dollars, or have somebody that can pay a hundred dollars? I work with kids every single day, day in day out. Brooke, Brooke, I if you can pay a hundred dollars, you can. I go home. I'm gonna call my uncle right now. Hopefully not. I'm begging before I have to call him because I really don't want to. I will pay, I will show up, I will yeah. do anything. Your phone's right over here. You can come grab your phone and you can call somebody so that you can, all you need is $100 to get out, no, okay? No, I get that and I, yeah, I get that. I don't know if that means that I'm going to be your daughter. I don't know if that means that I'm going to be your daughter. Look, here's, here's the deal, no, okay? No, 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 no. There's no, there's no negotiation anymore. There's no negotiation going on ever, okay? You're being arrested and charged with DUI, all right? You're gonna get your picture taken over here in a second and fingerprinted, and once we're done with that, you need you need a hundred dollars so that you can go home. Okay? So if you wanna call somebody, if you wanna call somebody to bring you a hundred dollars, then you can get out of here. If you hold on, if you don't call somebody, then you're going to sit in the county jail overnight. No, and I and I get that. And I get everything and it's not even like a Okay. Why don't you call them so that we I'm can? Gonna call, I'm gonna call them right now. Like, please, like, please. Like, so you I, I learned my. I learned everything. There's no, Brooke. There's and nothing that's gonna change. Two hundred bucks. I would pay three hundred bucks. There's nothing that's gonna change anything right now. You need to call somebody to come pick you up. That's it. I will call okay. somebody. Come with me. So right call now. them so you can get out of here. Are you going to call somebody or no? If you're not going to call I somebody. I am. Okay, if you're not going to call somebody, then I'm going to okay, put you well, in a cell. Okay, well, the thing is that, like, I am trying to talk to you, and I'm trying to compare to you, and I'm trying to be, and I'm trying to tell you, and I'm trying to relate. Okay. There's a difference. So, I'm going to call my, I'm going to okay. call my uncle right now. I'm trying to get you out of here. I That's get all that, I'm but the do. thing is, is that you don't understand me calling my uncle to get me out of here. Me, my uncle calling my dad. Okay. And you don't understand what my uncle and my dad... Unfortunately, <laughs> you made an adult decision today, and that's something you're going to have to work with. Yeah, okay? you know what? And I, got, and I screwed up. Yep. You know what? And that was my own fault. So, so these I'm are your, telling you, I will do anything, and I will do everything in my own power. These are, these are your two tow forms? Your yes, car was towed? and I totally understand okay. that, and I totally so get, get that. your car out? But the thing is, is that I am telling you, and I'm trying to relate to you, and I'm trying to give you everything, and I'm like, I will do anything and everything. I will work. I will do... Whatever you need from me. If and the thing is, is that, do you know how many people would actually, like, be like, you know what, I am so sorry, and then I would have done that? Not a lot. I am sorry. I fucked up. I'm 18. I don't want this on my record. I don't want to have to go to court. I am sorry, and I will be, like, repenting of this for the next 10 years. I will give you whatever you guys need and or want. So. I will do whatever. To get you, real quick, to get your car out. You need to pay. I don't give a f my car. I don't care. Okay. All right. Well, you got to pay the city to five hundred dollars, and then you can get your car out. All right. Can you come over here for me? I'm gonna have you have a seat right there. And then I gotta handcuff you. So either there or that one, whichever one. Slide this way for me. I know, but people screw up the rules and these rules get made because people are dumb back here. Although she wasn't the epitome of a Karen, she exhibited specific characteristics associated with dumb Karen entitlement. Ultimately, her actions led to charges for DUI, incorrect use of lanes, and having alcohol in her vehicle. Hopefully, she really did learn her lesson 
and we won't see her on this channel again.